Hi guys, just been to Ikea, thought I'd treat myself to a comfy night's sleep tonight hopefully, with a couple of hot dogs, you know, might as well since you're here. Yeah. But it says it takes like a couple of hours, like 20, well, 24 hours to, just a foam mattress to expand to its fullest, but I'm going to chuck it in, hopefully it's better than what I've got for tonight. Anyway, I'm going to get going, enjoy my hot dogs, enjoy my coke. I'll catch you back in a bit. Hi guys. Here. Just parked up at Stonehenge. It's out there somewhere. I don't know if you can see it. Trust me. It's out there. Bit of a stressful day. Thought I'd have to give a van life after just a couple of nights. I've been sleeping in my van. Probably about two weeks now. I've always been back and forth getting stuff from my mum's house. But I had my van booked in to get the belts changed, and they said they found another problem. So I was going to be like, "Where am I going to sleep tonight?" But it turned out it was, wasn't what they thought. So they be able to fix it in the day. I was like, "I'm going to have to book myself into a hotel." Cause not going back to my mum's. Because when I originally wanted to, well, I got rid of my flat last September. I was was going to live in my car until I could afford a van, but it was just so cramped. So I, after one day in my car, I ended up at my mum's. So I didn't want to do that again. So, but it's all good. The van's alright. Belts have changed, a little less worrying driving this now, but hopefully it should be good. So I'm just going to tuck into a, a bit naughty KFC there, get in the back, just chill out, doors open, enjoy the rest of the evening. Oh, excuse the mess, just had my KFC, oh, got a nice brew going, a, bit, a little bit windy. But As I said, <coughs> not much has been happening on the van this week other than that service. Bought some magnets to keep my curtains in place. You can see them. Uh, magnets in there. Magnets down the bottom because it keeps blowing open. And it nearly pulled my roof down earlier. Like, I need to find a new way of putting the curtains up, get another rail, maybe. Uh, other than that, that's about it. <coughs> Bought a carbon monoxide detector. Gonna, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, put that up somewhere. And that's about as busy it gets. Got my new mattress on. It's a lot better than the last one. Can't feel the wood through it, so that's always a plus with a mattress. <coughs> so, about it. Just chilling here. Wednesday afternoon. I was on early today at work. So, beautiful view, but well, you can hear the 303. But still nice. There you go. Still here. Van life so far. It's working out the niggles still. So the last couple of days have been like trying to knock, go back to my mum's house. Uh, 28 years old. <laughs> so, went to the gym for a shower this morning. Quite unpleasant. Uh, it's just shower floors and so quite a good gym, but just uh, water everywhere. So I bought some, ordered some sandals, so 
that hopefully improves that. Had a uh, spill the tea. And my first like, prostitute shower, as they say, hooker shower. Wouldn't recommend that. That doesn't leave me feeling clean at all, but in a pinch, maybe it's alright. I don't know. Ask my work colleagues. <laughs> Glad I'm still in the van tonight and not in a hotel somewhere. That's a plus. Uh, food. Just got to stop doing the takeaways. Went to the supermarket, supermarket yesterday. Everything you pick up is like, no, I haven't got that. I haven't got that to do that. It's like, just got to get more prepared. Got a pan, got chopping boards, I've got loads of knives. But just you know, get organised. Get a fucking sorry, excuse my language. Get a I need a vent in here really. It's, the door's huge and I don't really like having it open. I feel so exposed. I was in Tesco car park yesterday, I was in the back, opened my door slightly and there's a car right next to me and I felt like shit. Like, what? <laughs> Shit, you know? It's like. It's not comfortable with it yet, you know? What other people might think. And stuff. Um, when I was at the garage today, when, I, when they told me I might, they might have to have the van overnight and finish it in the morning, I was going like, that's, that's my home. <laughs> that's right. Do I tell them? So tell them I live in there, so hopefully they'll try and get it done today. Or, uh, probably could tell because set up like this in the back uh, doesn't quite look like a camper. Like, dodgy there, dodgy here. Uh, uh, all right, back in the van. Cup of tea. Nice view of the Salisbury Plain area and the 303. This evening, just gonna put some batteries in my lifesaver carbon monoxide alarm. That's about it. Chill, save some battery power on my phone because with that cost of the timing belt. Uh, solar and like batteries are gonna have to wait till next month now. What else? Anything else? Don't think so. Nah, that's it. See you later. Thanks for watching.